side. Whoa! Tell the inspector that my client and I are ready for him now. My wife identified Mr. Wolf here as the man who has been harassing her. You'll have a bit of trouble making your better half's ID stick, old pal. I distinctly recall when I was DA that she gave a totally different description of the man she called Andre Wolf. We are up to our ears in IDs. More to the point, we have a composite of Mr. Wolf that's been circulating now for weeks. I've seen that, and it doesn't look anything like my client. I know Mrs. Castillo only from a television newscast. I've never sent her any letters or any gold chains. Nor met with her in a restaurant. I would definitely remember that. You were working alone for quite a while, then I noticed that you took on a partner. Oh, I'd like to meet her. I haven't had that much luck with the ladies here. I want you to tell me, mister, what you were doing on the roof of the Montecito Art Museum tonight, please. I advise you not to answer that, Andre. You don't have to. Now, it's embarrassing to say this, but not as embarrassing as being falsely accused. I was trying to sneak a look at the fabulous tiara. I've heard about it for years, and I had this insatiable curiosity to view it with my own eyes. Only I was unable to purchase a ticket for the gala. So I decided... Uh, to do a foolish thing and climb up on the roof, uh, so I could take a look down at it. I, I realized uh, I was taking a terrible risk, but uh, jewelry is my passion, and I never dreamt that uh, a thief would decide to pull off a heist at the same hour and location. It is amazing, isn't it? Tell me, did you and the thief happen to bump into one another up there on the roof? Oh, I must have arrived just as he or she ran away, because uh, I saw the skylight open, and when I looked down, the glass case was empty, and I didn't even see the tiara. Uh-huh. Then you probably weren't the sorry piece of slime who cold-cocked the guard up there. Oh, I could never hit anyone. I simply had the misfortune of being at the wrong place at the wrong time. The wrong place at the wrong time. Wearing a, wearing a, uh, a ski mask on your face. It was chilly up there. And there you have it. A plausible explanation of my client's presence at the scene of the crime. He was misguided, certainly, in his actions. But his worst crime was trespassing. You have no proof of anything more serious. No witnesses, no fingerprints, no tiara. I demand his release. You two are, are having a, a lot of fun here. I mean, you're having a real good time for yourselves, aren't you? I, I, this is interesting to watch. I just want you to know that soon, the games are going to be over. Castillo. The address is Wolf's house. Did you find anything? Not yet. But somebody left in a hurry just uh, after we got here. Look, if I could have moved on that trace a couple minutes. Michael, spare me, please. I know the drill. Just have the place dusted for prints. 